सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू दिस न्यू वीडियो सो एज आई टोल्ड यू इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो ऑफ वी एल एस आई डिजाइन एंड टेस्टिंग एंड आई हैव डन विद सम ऑफ द कॉन्सेप्ट ओनली ऑफ फर्स्ट मॉड्यूल सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डू सम ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट सीमॉस सर्किट डिजाइन ओके बेस्ड ऑन द बुलियन एलजीब्रिक एक्सप्रेशन गिवन ओके दे वुड बी गिविंग यू वन एक्सप्रेशन लाइक दिस okay so this question would be it would be fixed last uh, uh, as per the exam point of view the final exam point of view uh, these kind of questions uh, one question is fixed asked okay so in this video i'm going to solve on four expressions and i'm going to try to implement and uh, draw the cmos equivalent circuits for the expression shown in the above questions okay so yeah this is the first question uh, let us see how the lo boolean logic cmos circuits uh, worked you should be uh, drawing this using uh, by using uh, and and or operations okay so what uh, what are what pmos and nmos transistors would be behaving when they are in series and parallel how it would be behaving and how the circuit would be looking like everything uh, i am going to discuss in this video okay so before moving further to this video please like this video share this channel to a huge number and subscribe to our channel for the latest notifications and for the latest videos of vlsi design and testing okay already some of the previous videos of uh, introduction part and all it is available in the channel itself uh, in this playlist please go and watch the previous videos okay so this is the first question guys implement f that is the function of ab plus cd the whole bar that is the whole complement using cmos logic okay so this is the first question okay we should be drawing the cmos circuit as i have told you first only that cmos circuit consists of pmos that is a uh, p type uh, substrate uh, pmos transistors as well as n mos transistors right so using those two transistors only we are going to draw the uh, circuit here of this expression okay first in cmos we have two parts that is pull up network and pull down network pull up network consists of all the pmos transistors and pull down network consists of all the n mos transistors and between those pull up and pull down network we would be uh, seeing the output okay so like that we are going to draw the circuit now first draw the supply here so this is the circuit diagram supply means vdd supply okay first things first that then we have ab plus cd right so how this ab is here a and b are multiplied right a and b are multiplied so here and operation is taking place that is multiplication of two variables so whenever the multiplication of uh, uh, two variables are there then according to the operation of multiplication in uh, pmos since we are drawing first for pull up pull up side in pmos when the two terms are multiplied the the two respective transistors of pmos transistors are in parallel to each other okay so that's why a and b that is in in case of pmos it would be parallel to each other so first draw that for one one pmos circuit okay this is the bubble should be uh, uh, put here since it is a pmos circuit okay so name this as a so from here draw one more uh, pmos circuit parallel to this okay so this is b now these two are in parallel now the expression continues here ab plus cd right so here we have plus cd so what could be done is here these two terms are getting added up so whenever the terms uh, let us consider this as one term and this as one term and these two if they are getting added up so according to that condition this would be the pmos circuit would be in series when they are getting added up okay so first before that this cd is multiplied right so from here only we know that when the terms are added up the pmos circuit will be in series so now this branch and this branch of cd right that you should be drawing it in series okay so ab is in parallel similar to that draw even for cd so draw one more pmos uh, pmos transistor this is c one more this is d and join them up so now if you see here a and b are in parallel c and d are also in parallel but the whole branch of a b and c d these two parallel branches are connected in series okay so this why so this complete is the pull up part okay 
so now from here we will be seeing the output now this is the output part now the pull down part that is we should be drawing the nmos equivalent circuit just just nothing but much to do if you draw the pmos just the opposite okay so if we drawn if you have drawn here a and b in parallel the same opposite that is the we should be drawing the a and b nmos circuits in series so here also we have parallel series but these two branches now should be in parallel okay nothing much so let us draw that first these two that is a and b should be in series right so first draw that so this is one nmos a one more nmos b these two are in series so that should be connected in parallel branches right so similarly here also c and d also should be in series this is c this is d and this is the ground part okay so this part is the pull down part and now in this way the circuit is completed okay so this is one logic circuit uh, for cmos logic and from here the output is seen so this is f is equal to ab plus cd whole bar okay in case sometimes what they will be doing is they won't be giving you this whole bar instead of that they would be giving you only ab plus cd if it is given like that nothing much to do in the output side is it is there right we should be drawing one inverter okay so i'm just showing for example inverter you know right how it is one pmos and one nmos circuit that is from this output side first you draw one pmos and nmos connect the bases from here it should be connected here okay this is ground this is supply these two supply should be connected now okay for a common supply and from here the output is checked okay so in this way we should be drawing when there is no complement given okay yeah so yeah so this is in this way the simple circuit is drawn hope you understood how to do it so let us see a few more and uh, law uh, uh, equations and let us uh, draw the circuits okay very easy nothing much to do hope you understood this so let us draw a few more so this is the next equation given for this you should be drawing a circuit using fmos logic okay so first see the expression very clearly how it is written first a plus b okay so you, you you can say that a plus b so in pull up part the pmos transistors would be here in series and it is multiplied with cd where here the c and d are multiplied and after the, after drawing this two circuit after drawing these two pmos uh, transistors in series then we should be drawing its branch with in parallel with these two uh, c and d okay then again it is added this whole term is added with plus e so this if you consider this as one term and this as one term so this whole branch and this one term would be in series okay similar way the uh, just the opposite of that you should be drawing for nmos logic also okay so pull up part and pull down part and from in between you should be checking the output okay so let us draw it now first vdd then we have two pmos transistors are in series that is a and b okay so draw that first this is one a this is b okay and now c and d in the same branch should be in parallel because this is one term right so that's why from here you draw one parallel branch of c here this is c and from here you draw d okay and join this because this is one single branch so if you check here a plus b these are in series into c into d so these three branches are separately in parallel okay then we have one more term plus e so this whole branch along with one more pmos circuit that is e okay so this whole branch and this e is in series right so hope it is clear how to draw so now this is the pull up part we have drawn here so from here you should be checking the output so this is f is equal to a plus b 
into CD plus B the whole bar. Okay. So this is a PMOS part. Now draw the NMOS part just opposite to this. That is. So here we have drawn A and B in series. So for NMOS you should be drawing these two in parallel. That is. This is A. This is B. Then we have C and D. So here we put C, D in parallel, right? So now this should be put in series in case of NMOS. That is C as well as D. Then we have one more that is plus E. So this whole thing is in series. That should be put in parallel with E now. Okay. Just the opposite of that what you have done for pull up part. So from here we check the ground part. From here it is output. So this is complete pull down part. So this is the circuit diagram guys. Using CMOS logic we have drawn for this expression. Okay. So hope it is clear how to, how to, to be drawn using PMOS as well as NMOS transistors. So please make a note of this. So we have two more. Uh, let us see those two. So this is the next question here. F is equal to A B C plus D plus E plus F the whole part. Okay. So yeah, first draw the V D D part. Then you see here we have A B C. So these are multiplied. So it should be in P M O S. It should be in parallel. So first draw that. This is A. This is B. And this is C. Okay. Then it is added with D plus E plus F. So first you consider this in bracket. That is D plus E plus F. These are added. So here you should be putting them in series. Along with, along with that, this branch and this whatever we draw on this branch should be in series because it is getting added up, right? So from here I will draw it in series. That is D plus E plus F. Okay. So from here we check the output. V out. That is F is equal to a B C plus D plus E plus F. Okay. So this is pull up part and pull down part. Just the opposite of that. Here we had A B C in parallel. So first put them in series. In NMOS logic A B C. Then we have D plus E plus F. So here we put them in series. We should be putting them in parallel along with the parallel branches because we are drawing for pull down. So from here you draw one parallel branch of D. This is for E. This is for F. So connect them together. So this is the complete circuit. Okay, for this particular equation. So hope it is clear. So please take this uh, circuit down. So we have one more circuit. Let us see it fast. So this is one more. F is equal to E plus F. So make it G because uh, F is already there, right? So E plus G into X Y plus Z. Okay, so he do we don't have whole bar here. So I've already told you if they do, don't have this complement, what should be done? So that I'm going to show it to you now. First, draw this expression only first. So here we have E plus G that is a uh, uh, in uh, pull up part PMOS circuits, PMOS transistors would be in series, right? So draw it first. E G then we have it is then it is multiplied by x into y so this whole term is also getting multiplied so you should be drawing two parallel branches 
वन इज एक्स एंड वन इज वाई then it is added up with z so since it is getting add this whole term and this term is getting added up so this branch should be connected in series with z okay so from here we see the output so now the pull down part again the nmos transistors you should be drawing so here e and g are in a series so here you should be drawing them in parallel that is this is e g then we have into xy so here since it is getting multiplied so this should x and y should be here in series then it is getting added up so this whole branch should be par paralleled up with z okay so connect them together so this is the circuit here but here we don't they didn't mention complement part so the output is not uh, tracked from here instead of that it it is going through an inverter and then the output is tracked okay so that's why draw an inverter circuit p mos and mos gate terminals are connected this is connected to the gate here this is ground vss or ground part so here the vdd is getting directly connected here okay this is the common point of vdd here and then from here now the output is checked that is f is equal to e plus g into xy plus z okay so why we have drawing an inverter because actually we have removed the complement right but actually how the complement can be removed if we have one complement then if you draw an inverter that is again we are taking its complement so complement of complement these two complements gets cancelled out so that's why we remain with this equation okay so that's why we are drawing an inverter at the output side so hope it is clear so this is the final circuit guys take it down so these were the four important uh, logical expressions which we have uh, given in terms of boolean expressions and uh, we have drawn uh, using cmos logic both the pull up and pull down parts using pmos and nmos transistors so hope it is clear so this kind of questions should be definitely asked in the exam point of view okay also in the internals as well as the external point of view so this uh, this each circuit i guess it would be coming for 3 marks so they would be asking a two sir in one question they would be asking uh, two equations uh, uh, using those two equations you should be drawing the circuit okay so this is one for confirm question guys so you can take it down so hope it is clear please if you understood something uh, please uh, comment down your precious opinions about how you like this video so if you are interested in these con uh, uh, concepts you should please share your opinions in the comments and we are going to provide the best content as possible okay So that's all guys thank you we'll see you in the next video